Hello, today I'm going to be covering the main difference between the XLOOKUP and the index match function and exactly in which scenarios you're going to be using these. This file will be available on my website by using the link below and I'll be going over specific details and how to do this at the end of the video. For our purpose, we're going to be analyzing the source data tab, which has the financial transaction data information organized by unique transaction code, the vendor, the billing amount, service that was purchased, the date of the transaction, and lastly, the approving division. Now, before we get into it, let's quickly understand what a lookup function is. A lookup function is mainly used to return a specific information for a data that you're analyzing for. So for example, if we wanted to find out what the billing amount was for the transaction code 246 we would use a lookup function, which will then return the amount 9,640. This doesn't really do any calculations or operations, meaning it's not going to calculate the total or calculate the average, etc. It is simply going to find matching information that corresponds to the data that you're analyzing for. Now, Excel has a lot of alternatives available. However, the two most commonly used ones are XLOOKUP and the index match. To use an XLOOKUP function, you're going to specify a lookup value, then specify the return array, which includes your lookup value. And in this case, it's going to be transaction code. And then you specify a return array, which includes the data or the field that you want to return. Because we want to return the billing amount, we're going to select the billing amount field. And when we close a formula, it will return how much we were billed for each transaction code specified. What you're going to notice here is that the return data, which is the billing amount, is not flexible, meaning that if I were to copy this formula over where I want to return the date field, it is not going to automatically update. Now there are ways to combine different functions with the XLOOKUP function so that you could automatically update your return array. However, XLOOKUP is not built for that by default. So when you want to update your return data, you're going to either have to rebuild this formula from scratch or update the return field range manually. So if we wanted to return the date, which is in column F, we're going to have to go back into this formula, change this to column F, and then drag it down again. And then lastly, for the approver, we would also have to, again, update the return range from column F to column G. And you can see how XLOOKUP is very efficient when you're just trying to return one specific information. However, when you're trying to return multiple fields for a specific data, it then becomes a hassle to update your reference range every time. And this is where the index match comes in. To use an index match function, you're going to first start it off with an index function and select the data that you want to return. And then combine it with the match function where your lookup value is your vertical criteria, which is the transaction code, and the lookup array will return the field accordingly. And your horizontal criteria is going to return your header, your lookup array being your header. And when you copy this formula over, it will automatically update based on the header that you've specified. If we go over another example, we have a request to return specific data, which differs between each transaction code. And if we were to use the XLOOKUP function, where we want to return the transaction code, and the first one being the vendor, we can see that upon the next row, we don't want to return the vendor anymore. We want to return the billing amount, which is this. And then we're gonna have to drag this down update the return criteria, and then drag this down, then update the return range for the date, and then update it for approver, and etc. And it would just be a very timely process. However, if we just use index match, it becomes very flexible to the point where we can just design one formula and it will update the return criteria for us. And you'll notice that we have one single formula and upon dragging it down, 
it will return the specific field that we're interested in. To summarize, the X echo function is the most efficient when you're just trying to return one specific information. However, if you're in a scenario where you have to constantly change what data you're pulling in, in terms of the different types, so for example, if you're analyzing vendor first, then service after, then improving division after, then you want to use the index match as that function is built with the flexibility to change what you want to return. It's very helpful for you to practice using the X lookup and index match in different scenarios. The best way to do that is, again, by practice, and you will be able to get the first-hand experience by getting a copy of this file. This is going to be available on this website. You just have to go to Additional Products, go to Practice Sheets, and then you'll go to the General section. And here you'll see the X lookup versus index match practice sheet. You just press download and it will download a copy of that file. I hope this video helped you gain insight towards the difference between the XLOOKUP and the index match function. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me anytime. And that's it for this video and follow for more educational tips.